Good. That's okay. I'm here to tell you that that's okay. Because not everybody's supposed to know what they want to do. The thing that makes middle school so exciting, and I'm glad to get a chance to speak to a middle school I never had in the first, is because middle school is the time for you to figure, start figuring that stuff out. It doesn't mean you have to have an answer. It doesn't mean you have to know everything. It means that this is the time for you to start dipping your toes in the water of what do I like? What do I hate? What do I enjoy? Is something I enjoy something I can do for the rest of my life and how the heck do I do it? The reason I know that is because I'm going to tell you a story. In eighth grade, I was driving with my father in the car to school. Back of the Nissan Altima, we were hanging out back there. I was in the parking lot. He was, parking, excuse me, he was dropping me off 7.45 in the morning. I was sitting in the back of the car. And I turned to my dad. I turned to my dad. Sorry, just a second. You're okay. I turned to my dad and I said, Dad, I think I know what I want to do with my life. And of course, at this point, he just wants to hurry up and take me off to school because he's, you know, he's got things to do. So he says, what do you want to do, son? And I said, Dad, I want to graduate from high school. I want to move to San Diego. I want to go to San Diego State. I want to graduate with a degree in journalism. And I want to work in San Diego being a journalist for the rest of my life. And that's what I got to do. Because this is where it started for me. Was setting a path now towards something. It didn't mean I had to know where the path finished. I got lucky. I'm one of the luckiest people in the world because I got the opportunity to work at a very renowned television station with a great boss and a great life. I'm lucky. But that's because the dream starts now. You start formulating now. You start believing now. You start inching and thinking now. And you don't let anybody who says you don't have to do that get in your way. You don't let anybody stop you. You don't let anybody stop you. Because that's what makes life, is not being afraid of being the guy who cares, or being the girl who cares, or being the group that cares. Because there are people who tell you it's a lot easier to not care, and it is a lot easier to not care. But you're not going to be one of those people. Because I want to look forward to, how many of you here play sports? What do you play, son? What do you play, one love? Do you play something? No? Football? Who else plays sports? Anyone else ever? What do you play? Basketball. Basketball. Very good. I want to look forward to in four or five years sitting on the air and doing highlights of you guys because you chose to care about something. And not because you chose to sit in the back of the room where those random tables are. Just kind of looking around. That's what I look forward to to you. Now, I don't want to take up all the time because these guys got a lot of important things to say. 